All right, we're gonna try this again. I Hopefully I've scared my cat away. So she's not gonna try to help, hence why the cat spray is right there. Um, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to make this video. I have watched a lot of people make poppin' cookins on YouTube. They look like so much fun. I've, like I said, wanted to try it for a long time, but I didn't want to pay a ridiculous amount of money to get it shipped. And then I went to Daiso and they had them. And they had them for like four dollars and which it'd be like about 10 to get it shipped from Japan. And they have them with Ameri with English instructions on the back, with American instructions on back, which, you know, isn't entirely wrong. Um, it's American and English are sometimes two different things. I digress. Super excited to do this. This is uh, the Tenoshi Waffle Pop and Cookin'. I think this one will be a tasty one. I have a plate to put it on when I'm done. I have my water that the cat is also trying to drink and I'm excited. Let's, let's get into it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, ooh, -hoo. oh, look at this. Oh, I'm gonna need like scissors, aren't I? Okay, those have instructions. I am, I'm going to need Sizz scissors? Do I need scissors? This is just to put it on, right? So I can just put it on my plate. So I'm not gonna get the scissors. Just open it like this. <gasps> what even? So if you don't know what this is, Pop and Cookin' is this like toy candy kit from Japan um, where you mix a bunch of powders with some waters and then you make food. It's very reminiscent of like there was a, there was a bunch of stuff like this in the 90s that wasn't Japanese, just English. But, um, the kind of the catch with this is that they have, like, savory things too. I have a couple of those as well. I'm doing a sweet one to, uh, kind of kick it off because I'm not really ready to dive into the, uh, ramen-flavored poppin' cooking. Anyway trying to like make sure I can get all this in frame. I have a lot more space over here. So let's move them over here. Lots of little powders. Got some crunchy little sprinkly things for decorating. I have a little bag that I'm assuming is for something. And I am gonna need to cut this. I have a spoon for mixing. And then my little tray to do stuff. I'm gonna need to cut things. Hold please while I get my scissors. I mean, the contorting I just had to do to get back and behind <laughs> would be worth a video itself. I need to figure out a better filming location. Moving in about a month. Holy crap, I'm moving in a month. <laughs> um, I'll figure that out there. Anyway, I have scissors. Yay, scissors. So looking at the directions, it says, I have my water, cut apart tray as shown in picture. So looking at this, I cut this bit off and then like this little bit. I have to cut this like really apart. Well, dang. All right, let's see. This might have to get sped up. How come they make it look so easy on the internet? This isn't easy. This is like advanced cutting. They didn't teach me this stuff in preschool. 
Holy fine motor skills, Batman. So this is the part that like triggers my ASMR. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Cause it's just like the little crinkly noise bits it makes is so, it's so fun. Really only one thing of water? Yeah, only one, okay. Following the instructions. So the yellow packet said that the flavor was cream dough and they aren't kidding. It smells like vanilla pudding. Just that like sweet artificial vanilla that you know you shouldn't be really excited about, but you kind of are. There's still a lot of like powder in here. Really? Really? Only one? Poppin' cooking? You fibbing to me? Was I like way off on my water? I feel like I probably was. Don't tell. I'm already deviating from the uh, instructions. It needs like just a little boop more, okay? Don't judge me. I think I did a bad job being, um, getting my water in. And that, like, significantly helped. There's still a little bit of powder left. I might have to, like, speed up this whole video. Okay, I'm gonna turn it out onto the plate to knead. So, like, dump water everywhere. This way I can also kind of contain the... Okay. My hands are clean, and besides, I'm the only one eating it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so knead dough and shape into ball. I'm trying to get the um, rest of the little powdery bits to, like get in. This feels interesting. Let's just stick with that. It's it's almost rubbery. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to knead it into a ball. I'm going to kind of press it so that it 
hits the entire thing and then you press it into the mold, pinch it into the mold. Pinch that little bit out. No, oh, it's not bad. Okay, I've pinched it into the mold. I hope it is actually filled. We are going to turn it out. Oh, it's a waffle! Oh my gosh! That's so cute. I'm gonna repeat that step with the other yellow packet and I will get it with powder from second yellow and brown packets. Okay, I'm going to repeat the step with the second yellow and brown packets and then I'm gonna cut back in and we'll move on to step two. All right, cutting back in really quick. I'm going to just go ahead and do the brown one on camera. Um, so you could see I managed to do the other two. Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? Cut out the thing on the packaging too because it's adorable and let's just do the whole experience, right? So the brown packet is cocoa dough powder and we are going to do the same and make a chocolate waffle out of this. Chocolate waffle sounds like an innuendo. I don't know what it would mean, but it sounds like an innuendo. That probably says more about me than you needed to know. Um, carefully kind of do a little tippy tippy out into the chocolate dough. So the uh, cream dough, as it's called, really did smell like cream, smelled like vanilla pudding. This, Oh, it smells like chocolate pudding. It smells like really artificial chocolate pudding, which I suppose is basically what it is. I'm not gonna lie, like the mixing of this just really makes me happy. So the second um, vanilla waffle, I guess we'll call it, I didn't need to add extra water to, but it came together a lot better. So I'm kind of curious to see if I'm going to need to do it for this. And it's looking like I might. I don't know. It's just like, surely I'm not that inconsistent. Oh no, maybe not. It's like I can't be that inconsistent with my... Uh, water scooping abilities. All right, just about ready to turn this out. I think this is not like the neatest, tidiest, uh, fun kit to do. I mean, it's fun, but it's not the neatest or tidiest. Then you kind of like squish it together. I'm the only one eating it, so I feel pretty okay using my hands to like squish all this remaining powder in. Move that out of the way. Kind of brush that off out of my way. Back that up so I don't accidentally knock it over. Doot doot. This one seems a little lumpier than the other two, but maybe once you like squish it in the mold, it won't be so bad. So we're gonna throw it in the mold. Okay, kind of squish it out into all the parts, fold it over and smash. Smash it. I kind of like this part. This part's fun. And then I'm going to clean up the edges. I feel like there's a big air bubble, but no, there isn't. There we go. I feel like I may have smashed this one a little too hard because the little holes are very translucent. Clean that up, pop it on the plate with my other two. And there we go. Moving on to step two. Actually, we're gonna kind of push stuff out of the way a little bit. 
try to clean off your work area. Let me just get that all over my. That's fine. Okay, step two, make cranberries. So in the music note bit, we need the powder from the red um, packet. And we're gonna need this little thing. And so add powder from red packet. Oh, first we add the water. So add full triangle cup of water to that. Okay. So I supposed to add the water first too. It's I think it, I am just underfilling it. It's really hard though cuz it's like you don't want to spill. All right. Full triangle cup of water without spilling any of it. Cool. Then add powder from red tray. scintillating content I'm sure that smells like you know what this smells like it smells like the um like the cranberry sierra mist that comes out at Christmas time so you do that get it all toss that aside and then mix it until it starts to get syrupy ew I'm gonna mix it a little bit more. I'm going to apparently spill some on me, which means I get to taste it. Which means it tastes like the uh, Sierra Mist cranberry. I'd say that's fairly syrupy. Uh, use spoon to fill berry molds with the mixture. Uh, okay. This is going to be a test. Gonna fill the very molds, do a little more, blip that in there, get another little spoonful. It's hard to do, don't want to spill. This is like if you enjoy lining things up or like those kinds of things where you get to watch um, everything just kind of be perfectly in order, you would really like filling these molds because it makes me happy. I have overfilled that one and I'm kind of not mad about it. It's like just that weird, I'm not going to push it with the other ones. I've overfilled two of those. Then you set them aside. And it will become firm in 10 minutes. You leave the rest in here too, apparently. Which, okay. Not sure why, but okay. Um, Alright, it will become firm in 10 minutes. Step three. That's actually not bad. Make the watermelon cream. Watermelon cream. Why would you put water... Watermelon doesn't cream. So put that in your clover bowl that is full of remnants of waffles and add two full triangle cups of water. So let's knock this out. Watermelon cream. Okay. Uh, that felt chunky pouring in, but okay. We're gonna go with it. Uh, what is it? Two full cups of water? Oh, uh, no pressure. It's not a full cup! I should have let baby cat drink some of this. Okay, so one. Let me dump it all down. Ah, son of a biscuit. That's not enough. Two. And I'm gonna take the spoon and spoon a little dippity dop to make up for the stuff I spilt. And then we mix. Um, that smells like if you mixed watermelon and nail polish remover. 
Yeah, there's very definitely an undertone of nail polish remover in that watermelon cream. Not super happy about that. Not looking forward to eating that bit. It's also almost like foamy. And since when did you, when have you ever seen watermelon as a cream? Is that a thing? Is that like a Japanese flavor? I know they have all sorts of awesome flavored Kit Kats. Like I said, I went to another Asian store. I don't know, it's like H Mart while I was in California, right before we went to Daiso. And I saw a bunch of the fun Kit Kats, but they were in giant bags and I didn't want to like get a giant bag of matcha Kit Kats if I wasn't gonna like them. All right, so that's the watermelon cream. Mixed beautifully, like texture wise, that's beautiful. Smell wise. I'm a little concerned. I need to clean this now, and unfortunately that means sticking it in my mouth. So. It actually doesn't taste that bad. I must say. All right. So, remove the now firm red jelly from the tray, which is this. How do I remove it though? Like, it is firm. It is firm. But how do I remove it? I need like a paper towel and I don't want to get up again to get one. Um, I, I need instructions, Pop and Cook, and how am I supposed to remove this without destroying it? Like, squishing the sides, hopefully that'll like kind of release it, maybe? I don't know. Move my little waffle out of the way, see if I can tip it out. This isn't working. It's not releasing. I don't know what to do. It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet, has it? No, probably not because I just now am getting to... Uh, use the spoon release it from the edges actually that works really well and maybe like use the spoon and trying to like be able to show you what I'm doing and actually do it at the same time so I'm gonna like I don't know if you can see but when you pull it it like releases really nicely so maybe I can just kind of flippity flap that out mmm that looks appetizing just gonna put that over there for now put these over here for now too in my weird green watermelon cream because we have blueberry sauce to make okay remove the now firm red jelly from the tray check add a full triangle of water to the tray check I really don't like getting this full triangle of water this is like the bane of my existence I would much rather use a pipette all right full tray of water without spilling it everywhere check that little narvel out of my way blueberry sauce powder all right here is the blueberry sauce powder, which does not smell like blueberry. Also, it's purple. I don't even try to make it blue. Well, I suppose blueberries are kind of purple, too. And then add powder from purple packet and mix. Okay. And then what? Fold down top of squeezing bag, put sauce in it. Okay, so this is like the drizzly bit. Make sure I have all that. I'm done with the water, I'm done with that. I'm really glad you could see my like ever growing trash pile over there. <laughs> um, okay, mixed up, cool. Like individually, all these things taste fairly okay. Okay, full 
top back up. Basically load it like a piping bag. I can do that. All right. That is that. We gonna roll this back up. Give me a ridiculously large little baggie to do this in. Twist. I'm gonna twist and then I'm just gonna kind of let it sit for a sec. I'm gonna let these things sit for a sec and clean up a little bit and then we will come back to decorate. All right, back over. I'm trying to sort of get everything in. Okay, so now we get to decorate. First, I'm going to try to turn these little cranberries out of their little molds, which actually, Oh my gosh, those are adorable. I don't know how, if that's even gonna show up well on camera. They're so cute. They're just like little bloops of bloop. They're just little bloops, I think is the best way to put it. I will say these uh, waffles are still quite moist. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if nothing else, like the cranberry bit, that's really cool. Let's see if I can pick one up and, without ruining it and show you. Because there's, you can almost sort of see. Where are you? There we go. Does that focus? It's not going to focus. It's the problem when you film like on your phone. You can't do all those fancy things. Sorry, amateur. I don't have, well, yeah, I don't have fancy cameras. I'm too broke for that. Um, cool. And then they said to like chop up this bit however you want. So not really sure what the purpose of that is. But let's chop it up. They put it in like nine little blips. So let's do what they did. Okay. So here we have some sprinkles, which I am going to open really quick have a couple minutes left on this and so let's do some decorating okay um it's like moving these little things are hard without squishing them they are really cute though that watermelon cream is overwhelming in it's like all I can smell right now and unfortunately, like, that's, like, the only thing that I have to, uh, deck, like, glue anything down with. All right, so, uh, let's do, you know, in old versions of this, they had, like, a vanilla cream, and I would have much rather had that than a watermelon one. It seriously, it smells like, <laughs> I guess it's pop and cooking for you. One always has to be, like, really gross. It smells like like watermelon and nail polish remover combined. I'm gonna take just a little bit of it. I'm gonna put it on this. Uh, uh, kind of smear it around. I'm only gonna do this on one, I think. Oh, that's like way more than I want, but I'm also trying to like make it look relatively pretty. I don't like this watermelon cream. It's hard to work with and everything. Okay. All right. That is that. I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to, I think, maybe do some of these little jelly blips up on it. Oh my gosh. Gonna have to like lick this off. <laughs> oh, it is the most artificial watermelon thing I've ever tasted in my life. And I grew up in the 90s where artificial watermelon was like ride or die. Oh, 
I'm a little afraid, like, what all this combined together is going to taste like. These are supposed to be, I guess, little cranberries. I don't know, man. I don't know. Not, not really feeling this, this one, Mr. Krabs. There. Right. That's that. We're just going to let that be. Move these out of the way. If I can move them. Then we have our little... I guess I'm going to have to use the watermelon cream because it's literally all I have to decorate with. I'm just going to kind of do one dollop in the chocolate thing. One good dollop right in the middle. And then I'm going to put a really nice looking berry thing on it. There we go. And then I'm going to get some of these berries in this one. That's not going to have watermelon cream on it. Big fat berry in the middle. Like if anything you can take away from watching this or that I can take away from doing this, the little berries are adorable. And then we're going to drizzle this on. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. We're just going to do that over the nasty watermelon cream that I know I'm not going to eat. Just kind of drizzle some blueberry stuff. That looks almost appetizing. Do some more drizzly bits. I mean, it looks relatively pretty, doesn't it? Like, the decorating bit is fun. The eating bit is a little concerning. And then I have some sprinkles, too, which, I don't know. I don't really feel like I need to put too many on, but put some on. Because they're there, therefore I must eat them. This one needs sprinkles. And, yeah, heck the heck. Let's put them on them all. Sprinkly things. And there you have it. There is my first pop and cooking. Let's get all this stuff off to the side so I can make my thumbnail and then I get to eat it. Okay. Um, I'm going to try this one first and I'm gonna do it off camera so you can't see my face cuz yeah I'm not I'm too lazy to like edit things in wish me luck it's so much watermelon cream man that that is what concerns me um actually That's not half bad. The texture is really weird. I mean, I admit, I picked kind of a cheater one to start with because the sweet ones tend to be relatively okay. This isn't bad. I have like 30 seconds left, so this wasn't bad. I'm sure the other two are going to be good. I'm going to call it quits because like I said, my camera is flashing like, you have 30 seconds, so I am, actually, I will pause and reload and then take a bite of the other two. So, hold on. All right, I've like managed to like buy myself three minutes. I ate the one and now I'm going to eat the other two so you can get some whatever reaction. Let's go for the chocolate one. Um, yeah, it's like really chewy. The berry things are actually really good. And like the berry drizzle is really good. I'd eat candy like that. I don't like the chocolate waffle as much as I like the vanilla one. And the uh, sprinkles do not add anything. But I'm going to eat them because they're here. And this one does not have any of that horrible 
watermelon cream. And I think this is going to be delicious because it's just berries and a vanilla waffle, which is still really floppy and moist. It actually wasn't bad. It actually wasn't bad at all. This was actually a good first step into popping cooking. So there we go. I've done something new and I've made content for my blog. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, I guess, what am I, what, what do the YouTubers all do? Like hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and notifications and that, I don't know. You don't have to do any of that if you don't want to, but I would really appreciate it if you did visit my blog, glitterandprofanity.com, where this is probably going to go up as well as a bunch of other stuff for my blog every day in April, which is been interesting to say the least so far. So Thanks for watching and I hope you come back and see me soon. Bye.